What's up everybody, Roderick here and Billy, you are definitely showing your worth today. Finally, you got me something that isn't involving headphones. Whew. I mean, what better way to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the moon landing? Today, we have this 3D printed moonlight, which looks pretty awesome just based on the box. To make this, they got a high quality 2D topographical map of the actual moon. They then used a 3D modeling program to build the moon based on that 2D image. Then they printed the shell with a 3D printer, added an LED module, and here we go. We have moonlight. So it looks like we have both warm as well as cool white lights when it comes to the lighting of the moon. It takes six to eight hours to fully charge a 240 milliamp hour battery. You can then use it for three eight hours wirelessly you can even hold it in your hand or you can just leave it on the space around your house now charging it for eight hours to use it for three to eight hours doesn't sound that great but i'll probably just leave it plugged in anyways all right we're getting inside now oh that looks good oh yeah oh got some bubble wrap you know what we gotta do oh yeah well is this actually on already hey google kill the studio lights oh look at that it is actually on. Look at that glow. From what I understand, this metal ring on the bottom is the button. So, oh, look at that. We got warm white, cool white, and off. Hey, Google, turn on the studio lights. And we're back, and this thing just doesn't want to stay still. Just chill. All right, then. Oh, we got to put this together. We also have a USB charging cable, as well as some instructions. Nice, we might need these. All right, let's see if I can figure this out on my own. Oh, you know what? I think I actually got it. Ah, pretty cool. I did it all by myself. No instructions required. That's a pretty cool looking shape. Look at that. All right. And then the moon just sits right on top. So this feels like it's made out of plastic. Well, I mean, it's 3D printed, so I'm not sure what I was expecting, but it's hard plastic, hard shell. Look at that. You can hold it. I got the whole moon in the palm of my hand. We got the cable fed through the base. We're going to plug it in the bottom. Whoa. Wait, I guess because I touched it, it turned on off. No, when I put it in, it turns on. Okay, that's cool. You're gonna hide the cable in the back. We got the cable plugged in, so now we have a continuous supply of power. And now let's test it out again. Hey, Google, turn off the studio lights. Oh my God, look at that. We got a blood moon. I didn't even know it had a blood option. Look at this. Oh, I feel like a psychic. You guys probably can't even see me, but just look at that blood moon. Billy, look at this. All right, so now let's turn the color. Can we do it while it's plugged in? All right, let me do it while it's plugged out. Here we go, we got that shine. Oh no, that's not good. It looks like while it's charging, you can only have the blood moon and that just means it's charging. I mean, it looks cool like this, but I'd like to have the option of the white or the warm LED light on while it's plugged in. But you know what? This actually doesn't look too bad. This red charging light will turn off once the battery is fully charged. That's how you know it's done. But that means I'll have to manually plug it in every time I need to charge it and I can't just leave it. But look at that. That looks like the moon, all right. Look at those details. Just look at that. That looks sick. I don't know what I like better. What do you guys think? Full white or warm white? Just looks so crazy. Look at that. It looks like the actual moon. That's pretty sick. You can adjust the brightness of the light by holding down on the button. Oh, look at that. And it'll remember the brightness that you leave it at. This is the minimum brightness. And this is the max brightness. Now let's turn to the white light. This is the maximum brightness. And this is the minimum brightness. That way you can have a nice night light with whatever brightness you need. Oh, wow, that looks sick though. Let's get it back bright. Wow, and you wonder how they faked the moon landing, huh? Did they fake it? What do you guys think? And even the blood moon, although the blood moon doesn't necessarily light up the place. That touch control works perfectly fine. Looking good. Hey Google, turn on the studio lights. Overall, really liking this moonlight. It just looks awesome, especially since there's that secret third blood moon option, which looks sick and it probably looks awesome glowing in the dark just sitting in a corner in your room. Wow, although it won't be producing too much light. Now that one major downfall that I'm finding is you can't change the colors while it's plugged in charging. So, <sighs> wow, I'm not gonna be able to do what I was planning to do with it. I wanted to leave it plugged in forever, put it in a smart switch, let it charge up a couple hours a day, let it work through the night, and there you go. It works all by itself, don't have to worry about it. But now I literally have to unplug it, turn it on at night, then in the morning plug it into charge, It'll turn red, which you can't see during the day. 
and then you know plug it out at night turn it back on and then we're good to go it's more of a hassle than i would have liked but i mean it still does look awesome if you want to pick up one of these i'll throw the link down below in the description make sure you guys comment your thoughts down below and let me know what your thoughts are on this if you're going to pick up a moonlight and what you guys are going to do with it because i wouldn't mind having one of these in every room of my house to be honest but the only problem is I would have to unplug each and every one of them every single day to get the color to light up at night. Uh, they need to make a smart version of this. That'll definitely solve everything and it'll just stay plugged in and everything's good to go. And plus when it comes to the charge and use time, it's not really that great. I wish it would charge in like an hour and last for 20 something hours. That would be even better. But right now, remember, you have to charge it for about eight hours and then you can use it for up to eight hours. So it's kind of a wash. Thumbs up, red subscribe button, social media. And I'll see you in the next one.